All right, I know I've talked about this before, but we're going to com- be comparing the Batman box office and the Batman versus Superman box office. We're going to get the budgets in. We're going to get we're going to see everything. We're going to see all the reactions and all that. Uh, but we're going to talk about how there's sadly there's a lot of oh, I forgot to turn on the light. Now, sadly, there are a lot of Snyder fans who are misinformed and believe the Batman is a flop. I'm going to talk about it in both sides. But I'm going to give you some context because apparently I need to give you context instead of actually, you know, you guys knowing already. Because for some reason, people misinterpret my words. I'm a big Snyder fan. There's no denying that. I know in the ca- last couple of months, it's been the cool thing to lie about me, to say that I'm anti-Snyder. Dude, I've proved myself. I mean, look at that. Just as if I'm anti-Snyder, why would I have that? Uh, of course, I have Batman vs. Superman back there. And if you go on my channel, most of the videos I've made on this channel have been Zack Snyder DCEU talk. And of course, Zack Snyder's Justice League is my favorite movie of all time. I mean, look how many cards I have. Now, I know some of them are the Batman, but they're mainly Zack Snyder's Justice League. So really, if you're going to call me anti-Snyder or if you're going to say anything like that, could you please provide proof before you say that? But anyways, we're going to go into this real conversation about did the Batman flop in the box office and i'm going to tell you why it didn't and why there there's lots of misinformation now first let's go off on how this theory started that the batman flopped now first we got to say how much it made both batman versus superman because batman versus superman we're, I'm, gonna, I'm about to tell you why we're comparing both now the batman worldwide made 764 million worldwide it did not hit the billion dollar mark and then Batman vs. Superman made $873 million. So obviously BVS beat out the Batman. There's no denying that. BVS beat Batman in the box office. But there's sadly a lot of Snyder fans calling this a flop. That the Batman should not get a sequel. I mean it's already confirmed there's a sequel. But how this is a flop. It's a box office flop. Um, and for those who are wondering who's saying this. Well yeah you can just see here. There's like a lot of videos saying, oh, why the heck? Earlier there was more. Did they just change? <laughs> they used one of my old videos. Um, but, yeah, you can see right here. Um, and look, I don't care whether you like the movie or not. At the end of the day, I love the movie. Um, and if you didn't like it, that's awesome, man. It's all opinion-based. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about the finances. Now, when how do you determine whether a movie flopped or not because look most people on the movie you know us movie fans a lot of people still don't understand box office how it works what deems a movie successful there is no number to deem a movie successful the, typically it's making far more than your budget to make it profitable because Movies are expensive to make. Movies are difficult to make. Movies require a lot of hard work, whether it's a big blockbuster like The Batman, whether it's a major movie like Endgame or Zack Snyder's Justice League, or if it's just a small movie that your neighbor made for in a $20 webcam. I don't know. Um, regardless of the movie, they take time and money. All right? And typically, to determine whether a movie is successful box office-wise, you have to look at how much you spent on it and how much did you get in return. Now, let's look at the Batman budget. The Batman cost $185 million. That was the budget. $185 million. In return, worldwide, $764 million. That is impressive. Is this shattering numbers? Are these numbers that are just... Woo, it's like, Are these numbers that that make it i don't know let's say joker level where it came out of nowhere everyone's surprised no it's not those numbers but they are really good numbers and they're enough to green light a sequel and a potential cinematic universe or whatever now let's look at the bam vs superman uh let's look at the budget first the budget was it's estimated to be 250 million that's a that's more that's more and it ended up making eight hundred and seventy-three million. Now, Batman vs Superman did not flop. It did not. And I know I criticize Snyder fans, and by the way, I'm a Snyder fan myself. 
I know it criticized Snyder fans for lying about the Batman box office, but I also, actually, I mainly criticize anti-Snyder people. My channel ha was built on criticizing Andy Signor, Jody's Corner, John Campia, and one of my major criticisms is them saying Batman vs. Superman flopped. It did not. $873 million with a budget of $250 million estimated. That is far more. That is f that is profitable, and that is that's that right there is that's not a flop so this goes both ways in the argument neither bam versus superman nor did the batman flop they didn't and it's funny when i saw all these arguments a lot of snyder fans use this as leverage it's the thing that i hate about the snyder fandom is our hypocrisy the snyder phantom fandom was built on people doubting us the fandom was built on people lying about us the fandom was built on Basically, a small group of people that eventually built up to more and more and more of people who wanted a movie to be released that should have been released years ago. And then, of course, the Snyder Cut came out and now it's Snyderverse. But our fandom was we were basically the minority for a while. I was there back in 2018. I remember in 2018, if you called yourself a Snyder fan, it was not the popular thing. Trust me, if you weren't there in 2018, you would not know how how much it sucked to be a Snyder fan. So it does sadden me when people call me anti-Snyder because I've been there since 2018. I didn't have a YouTube channel at the time, but I was there in 2018. I remember I bought a shirt that, that said release the Snyder Cut. I remember I, I would have some people ask me, what the heck is the Snyder Cut? And I would tell them, and they would just be left confused because they still didn't understand what I was saying. But um, one of the big lies that was put on us was that Batman vs. Superman did not do well. Now, let's look at the difference. The Batman, Ron Tomatoes, and all critics and audience-wise, a lot of people love this movie. Batman vs. Superman, however, was not loved. Trust me, I was there in 2018, 2016, 2017, and almost everyone that watched this movie hated this movie. I love it. I think it is better than the Batman, actually. I'll tell you this right now. Ben Affleck, to me, is still the better Batman. But let's not deny it. This movie did not do well critically nor audience-wise. You go ask your average comic book movie fan if they like BVS, and they'll tell you no. And it's still that way till this day. You go right now, you create a YouTube channel, you make a video called Bam vs. Superman, why I love it or why I hate it, whatever it is. You're destined to get comments saying that... You're destined to get comments telling you that this movie sucks trust me i get those comments all the time i remember there was even a time when the first time i ever reviewed that movie on my channel back when i only did movie reviews when i started off youtube i remember i had comments calling me an idiot for liking bvs dude i proudly love that movie i think it's a far better movie than the batman but i'm not gonna stand for the snyder fans attacking the batman and the batman fans also it's funny because a couple of weeks ago i was attacked for liking the batman like i literally was sent a dm on twitter of someone saying, I exposed you for being a Pattinson fan. And I'm like, oh, cool. I made that publicly. What, what do you mean expose? <laughs> I made that publicly. But, again, box office. If your budget is $185 million and you are making $764 million, that's not a flop. The same thing with the $250 million and making $873 million. We also have to remember the context. This is a movie... With Batman vs. Superman in the title. That is far more beneficial than just the Batman. And let's also remember there is still that stigma that Robert Pattinson was Twilight Boy. While Ben Affleck, sure there was Fat Flick. A lot of people were making fun of Affleck for being fat, maybe not fitting the role. But there was a lot more Twilight Boy than Fat Flick. There's a lot more. A lot more. We can't even deny that. But this movie was always expected to make more. Because it is a movie. The first... No, I feel like the movie so movie fandom has changed. But a lot of the people who weren't fans in 2016, 2017, anything prior to this, you have to realize it was an... Ins <coughs> Excuse me. It was an insanely big deal. That we were getting Batman versus Superman on the big screen. You have no idea the pressure, the the hype that was put onto this movie. 
just simply because Batman and Superman was for the first time the t- two of the most iconic uh, pop culture characters of all time being on the big screen together for the first time. That is insane. The Batman, however, was, oh crap, we already had the Dark Knight trilogy, we had Batman 89, we had uh, Ben Affleck's Batman, we had the M. West Batman. Oh cool, another Batman movie. Now let's talk about the billion dollar thing. Let's let's say this. We gotta say this right now. We gotta make it clear. No movie should ever have, let me make it clear, have to make a billion. No movie in history should have to make a billion. Because that's such a we only have like 50, 40 movies that have made a billion. Not a lot of movies make a billion. Go look at the list. Not a lot of in fact it wasn't even normalized till Marvel came in. Prior to Marvel, making a billion was such a rare thing. This kind of feels like, um, this kind of, I'll use a sports analysis. I'll use soccer. Uh, in soccer, Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, they're two of the greatest players of our generation. And they average, per season, they averaged around 30 plus goals a season. And they averaged it so much that it felt normal. So that when another player wouldn't score 30, because on average, most of the best goal scorers in soccer tend to only score 20 goals, maybe sometimes 18. I mean, if you go look at the English Premier League, the most goals scored in the season was 32 goals from Mohamed Salah. But the average for but Messi Ronaldo made it so normal that now everyone was expected to score 30 goals a season. Yet most seasons only had like 38 games within their leagues each in Spain, France, Germany. Uh, Fran- I'm sorry if I'm using sports analysis. I know most of you don't, but this is what Marvel has done. Marvel has caused the normalization of you got to make a billion because they had Captain Marvel make a billion. They even had Spider-Man No Way Home, Endgame, Infinity War, Age of Ultron, Avengers 2012. A lot of these movies have made a billion, but we still have to understand that making a billion isn't normal. And we also have to remember Batman vs. Superman was only the second movie in the cinematic universe. And we also have to remind ourselves that prior to this, this Batman was not known. This Batman, Ben Affleck's Batman, was not a fan favorite because he had yet to even have a movie. And Superman, yes, we had a Man of Steel, but that was only one movie. I mean, I, I, look at Avengers 2012. We had two Iron Man movies. We had a Thor movie. We had a Captain America movie. We had an Incredible Hulk movie. And within those movies, you had Black Widow show up, Hawkeye show up, uh, Nick Fury show up. None of those five movies made a billion so why do we expect BVS? Now, yes, BVS should make more money than all those five movies combined because, again, this is a movie. And I think they did. I'm, I'm sure none of them reached 800 million. So to the Snyder fans saying that the Batman flopped, then you have to put that same stigma into the anti Snyders that say BVS flopped. Then you do got to put that same stigma to the Batman because they actually made around when it comes to within that margin. I know I'm not. it's not the exact math, but. They made around similar numbers. And now I know some Snyder fans are going to ask, then why did the Batman get greenlit a sequel while BVS didn't? You also... (coughs) Sorry, my throat's hurting. Sorry if I sound weird too. But you also have to remember that the reason why the Batman is is because it was far cheaper to make. It was $185 Well, it wasn't far cheaper, but it was still cheaper. Um, And while this one was $250 that's still a large amount. Um, that's still a large amount. That's a big difference. Not a major difference, but a big difference regardless. And again, you have to take audience reception. You have to take critics reception because look, I love BVS more than most people. The only movie I love more than BVS is probably Zack Snyder's Justice League. Um, I even like it more than Man of Steel. I love Man of Steel, but I prefer BVS. Um, that's actually something Snyder fans should, should have like a little debate, like which of the three Snyder movies is best. But anyways, uh, you guys let me know in the comments actually, but, uh, the question has to be said, you know, I mean, why why did I say that? Okay. My bad. Let's, Let's change that. But the Batman was loved by most people. You go on TikTok and a lot of people were playing something in the way. The fact that 18 year olds and 19 year olds are listening to Nirvana says something BVS on the other hand was mocked it was ridiculed and look I was a BVS fan 
I was mocked. I was ridiculed. You know how often I get asked, why do you like the Martha scene? Why do you like it? And when every time I explain it, they're like, ah, you're just a biased Snyder fan. You're a biased Snyder cultist. Um, which is funny because I've criticized Sucker Punch, so I don't know how I would be a Snyder cultist. But uh, the Batman was received with lots of love. So it was destined because when you make the decision to greenlight a sequel, it's not just about the box office. That is the major part. But you also have to look into how people responded to the movie, how people reacted to it. BVS was not given that same reception. We also have to remember BVS had the benefit of the idea that for the first time ever on the big screen, we were getting Batman and Superman. The Batman didn't have that benefit. In fact, we also have to remember the Batman had to deal with the pandemic. Whether we want to deal with, whether we want to uh, deny it or not, the Batman had to deal with the pandemic. BVS obviously did not because in 2016, we weren't dealing with the pandemic. Actually, wait, hold up. I think there wasn't there an Ebola outbreak in 2016. Um, I don't know, in America, no, I'm just kidding. I, I, I don't remember. I remember there was something like that. In Dallas, Texas, I believe there was like one person with Ebola. I think it was in 2015. I don't know. But that was only one person. Obviously, there's much different. This was a pandemic. That, that was not. Um, you have to remember, the pandemic is still affecting movies. Not affecting it as much as like a year ago, but it still is. There are still pe- It's been recorded. It's There's official data supporting the, the cause that people are still afraid to go to the theaters. That's just the truth. Now, I don't... Even if the pandemic didn't exist, I didn't expect the Batman to make a billion. But, yeah, that's... We gotta compare. Why? I don't get why Snyder fans attack Pattinson fans. I I, I remember seeing all these tweets, people mocking Pattinson fans, saying, oh, you're not gonna get Batman 2. You're not gonna get Batman 2. And then it happened, and now they're all quiet. And I always hate this because I love the Snyder fandom. I really do. It's my favorite fandom. But the bad people within it, the annoying ones, the toxic ones, you make it no fun. And it always feels embarrassing. Anytime I tell any of my YouTube friends I'm a Snyder fan, they always look at me and they think, why would you consider yourself that? Because I am. I love the Snyder fandom. But a lot of them have spread misinformation that the Batman flopped. It did not flop. And if you think it flopped, then you got to go do some research on box office. Look, I'm not the biggest analysis on box office. In fact, I never do box office predictions. Sure, I'll say, I think this movie will succeed. I don't think this movie will succeed. I will say that, but I'll never say exactly like, oh, I think this movie will make $500 million or maybe one hundred <coughs> opening weekend. Sorry if I'm coughing, by the way. But... Yeah, it's, it's annoying seeing the misinformation spread. And I hope soon people learn that it's misinformation. But anyways, that's all I have to say. You guys let me know in the comments what do you think. Um, but yeah, the Batman did not flop. Again, you have to look at what happened. You know, box office, reception, all that. And look, BVS also did not flop. Uh, but overall, the Batman was a more success than bvs that's no denying it and i'm someone who still thinks bvs is a far excuse me a far better film than the batman uh but anyways that's all i have to say uh, i hope to see you guys later and if anyone wants to call me anti snyder look i'm fine if you call me that but you gotta back up that argument no one's yet no i've been called that many times and no one's been able to debunk that no one's been able to make that claim so, if you have that claim, then put some research into it. Tell me why am I'm anti-Snyder. When clearly, it only takes two seconds to figure out I'm not. But, yeah.